Well, hello. Good morning. Good morning from the partly cloudy Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. <laughs> you can see we're on our morning walk. Argo's wearing his very light jacket because it's not that cold, which is nice. <laughs> no complaints here. I'm enjoying the turn in the weather. But Argo and all of his tricks, he found us a ship. Oh, just in time for the name to get behind the stop logs there. It's the James R. Barker. <laughs> perfect timing, perfect timing. So, apologize for the audio. My microphone didn't seem to want to work. I plugged it in, so this is what we get, unfortunately. I'll have to mess with that later. But uh, I wanted to record them. They were just coming in the lock, and I thought Argo had a little bit of a pep in his step this morning, and now I know why. Now I know why. So. <laughs> I, uh, I spent the weekend over at a girlfriend's house in Canada and I can tell from Friday how much this ice has kind of broken up and gotten a little more loose here. Yeah. It was sunny and warm uh, both days. Well, it took a while yesterday. It was pretty cold in the morning, but the sun came out in the afternoon. I think uh, looking at the forecast, this ice might be uh, hopefully making a retreat. I hope, I hope. I'm sure the ship's hope as well. There was a uh, tug defiance. They thought they were stuck in the ice for a little bit last week. And so actually I got a couple cool photos of the James R. Barker as they were, because uh, they tied up until they found out if the Defiance could go or not. So I got a couple cool uh, pictures. It was super windy. So the video I got was, uh, yeah, <laughs> not really usable for the wind. So James R. Barker. Of course that, what you see coming out of the, the exhaust up there, uh, that's, steam or just water vapor from the scrubbers they have so that's not like a horrible amount of pollution or anything uh, it looks it looks like it and uh, when I first got here I thought the same thing I thought they were uh, horribly polluting just like what the heck what are they doing kind of like the steel plant over there except the steel plant is black smoke and now it's I don't know if all, but uh, a lot of the Interlake ships all have those scrubbers on them. Which is good. Good for the environment. So. Gonna keep going on our walk. I might see if I can get a little different angle up here. Um, today marks a uh, kind of a big day, a little bit. <laughs> um, a year ago today, I got to Michigan. <laughs> I got here, actually. I left Oregon on the, the 7th of April, and I got here to the, the Sioux on the 10th of April, 2022. So, hard to believe it's been a year. <laughs> I know I've mentioned it before, uh, you know, getting here in, in the hotel I stayed in the first night, and, I know I've talked about it, but it's just interesting. I'll get my arm through here. To have now been here a year. And so I, I was, I was thinking <laughs> that it seemed like we had more snow, you know, now than we did a year ago. And looking at my photos, I can confirm that. And the pictures I took on the 11th, because I got here pretty much at dark on the 10th. So the photos I got on the 11th, there was quite a bit less snow. Um, like in my house, or in my yard, not in my house, thankfully. No snow in my house. A year ago, nor today. <laughs> but yeah, a lot less snow in the yard. 
and uh, like the parking lot for the museum ship Valley Camp was pretty much clear just the piles of snow and that's not the case <laughs> now so, just interesting I know this was a warmer winter and uh, from what I've been hearing a reading that helps contribute to uh, more snow because we have less ice on the lake which means more lake effect snow all right I think that's gonna about do it James R. Barker I'm gonna commence our walk have some breakfast some coffee oh glorious glorious coffee <laughs> and then get to work because it's Monday oh Monday uh, hopefully hopefully Monday treats you well and, and myself and Argo there's, like, there's always a threat there of, you know Mondays being well you know Monday hopefully it's a, a pleasant surprise Monday today so. <laughs> as Argo finds a thousand things to sniff I wish you a good day stay warm which it's getting easier all the time and Argo will find us another ship, another video. That nose of his, just amazing. Oh, and that post is now his. So, have a great day.